by today itself we are going to learn about how to create a curtain razor in photoshop so for that first of all go to file new take a new document with uh, something like hd format and i think this is called not this this is called an hd of 192.1080 and after this what i have to do i have to take a new layer in this new layer uh, what i am going to do i am just taking a simple black and white color take this as a black take this as a white or apart from this we have this uh, default color set button you can just click on here then automatically it will become black and white after that what you can do uh, go to apply this black color onto this background so how you can do this by pressing alt plus backspace you can fill this background color now after this go to filter we have a very good option called render render maybe i can go to fiber and we got a nice fiber effect just click ok you can apply a fiber after this go to filter we have an option called blur in this blur we have motion blur and add a straight vertical kind of a motion blur with an angle of 90 degree and with this distance of something called blur as per your requirement you are you can add a nice blur in that now now see this you have got a nice cloth kind of a flow now making it uh, more realistic and with more wrinkles what you have to do you have to just take a new layer in this new layer just go to this gradient option in this gradient select a gradient with a kind of a, like black and white color and if you don't have this color just uh, click on this as a default color now click on this last flag take this as a black color and just click on the middle part add a bit of a white color in it okay now save this color for the letter use just click here you can save this color and then click ok now by taking a new layer drag or just select this linear kind of a gradient and drag from this corner to this corner like this just drag it from this corner to this corner you have got a nice gradient flow with you now with this gradient flow go to this blending mode and then select multiply in this multiply you have see this area would become dark this area would become dark and this area would become bright now by pressing ctrl t or show transform control you can just scale it and put it something like this okay after this what you have to do you have to just alt shift and drag this alt shift and drag scale it as per your requirement press enter uh, reduce a bit in opacity so that you can mix the dark area with the colors of this now again press ctrl e to merge this to this press ctrl e now you can see this you have a nice uh, curtain with a um, with, with foldings and all now go to layer in this layer option no don't go for layer just image adjustment and we have an option called hue saturation in this hue saturation just click on this colorize and after this colorize just increase the saturation of the color take a bit of an orange like this add a bit of darkness to make it a pure red kind of a cloth for you so i think you like this color and just click ok so you have got a nice red curtain with you name it as or name it as original o r i g i n a l original after this what you have to do you have to just make a copy of this original layer and you have to hide this original layer and by selecting the copy by pressing ctrl t just rotate it a bit like this by pressing shift you can rotate it something like this okay now what i want i just want at least three or four maximum number of lines for my scene and delete the rest and uh, stretch it as much as you can now after this what you can do just go to filter we have an option called distort and polar coordinate it will make it a round kind of a flow for your scene okay just click ok you have got a nice round flow with you now scale it scale it something like this and uh, just place it on this top now again uh, what you have to do just click on this layer window and in this layer window go to filter filter we have an option called drop shadow in this drop shadow you can add a nice shadow effect for your circle something like this now this will give you a depth press ctrl t 
go to warp and give it a nice triangulate effect something as per your requirement add something like this now drag it now drag it now drag it what you can do you have to just select all right click and what have to do, what you have to do you have to merge all the layers so you have made a nice flow for your scene still we have this original color with me original what we can say a cloth with me now this original cloth is very much useful for us so again we have to make a copy of this let's make a copy of this minimize this you have a copy and just hide this original layer now what I'm going to do what I'm going to do I'm just selecting this copy put it in into this part make it a bit long like this and then after this what I have to do I have to just right click on it go to warp so that warp can give me a nice cloth kind of a flow for my curtain okay so if I like this first level of warp what I have to do I have to press enter again control T again go to warp and just resize it again to give it a nice flow of the curtain once again and then press enter okay so I think you like this again just right click or shift alt and drag it right click on it or before by pressing ctrl T and then flip horizontal and drag it like this and if you want to just remove the kind of a symmetry in it what you have to do you have to again go to warp and add a bit flow that could be that could make it uh, not uh, even now what you can do you can you have to just tie this cloth with some rope effect so for that what I am going to do I am just taking a new layer and this new layer using this like a rectangular polygonal tool or a rounded rectangular tool with a selection type of path and I am making a nice circular path like this converting this into a selection and after that what I am going to do I am just using this gradient and in this gradient by selecting any kind of like black or a a rope kind of a um, color with a brown and yellow shades by clicking OK and just drag and make a new flow like this. Control T, Control plus zoom in by using this Q, dragging it like this Q and rotating it something like uh, this and again scaling something like this. Enter. So I've got a nice um uh, loop kind of an effect and i'm just copying this as per my requirement i'm just copying this and making something which could be look like a rope okay i think uh, this could be okay now by clicking selecting all this press ctrl e i got a nice flow again make one more copy of this again make one more copy of this and again make one more copy of this and again merging all these layers I got a nice flow so I think this could be okay again control T and just I'm going to like uh, flip vertical and just dragging it as per my flow scaling it something like this scaling something like this and using this warp effect I'm just making it a bit round this would be a bit round kind of an effect for my scene enter so this would be a, like a, a kind of like rope effect I'm just I'm not taking care of this particular side because this would be a visible part for me now again what I'm going to do I'm just selecting a simple flow making a new rectangle with the new layer adding the same gradient like this making one more copy of this rotating a bit scaling a bit like this and by press enter I'm just dragging both the flow like this press ctrl to merge both them and just placing it on the top of the first knot 
So in this way I have created a nice knot effect. I think you like this or I can place it a bit downward and scaling it and giving it a nice flow like this. Okay, enter by pressing enter. Okay, again uh, what I am going to do I am just uh, selecting and make a copy by pressing alt and control T so right click and then flip horizontal dragging this onto this side so it will give you a nice tying effect of a curtain again we have this original still with me again I am making one more copy of this dragging selecting both the original copies by making a group and this group SID side C U R T A I N curtains and ropes Control G that is R O P E S ropes and Control G loops that is my loops so again I'm taking this um, original copy hiding this original and again selecting it making it something like this okay this time what I'm going to make I'm just selecting it and just deleting this particular segment so I required this much this kind of a cloth that's it and I have to place this on the top of this loop okay so here what I'm going to do I'm going to place it this original copy on the top of this again by pressing warp dragging it something like this and uh, enter control T and just scaling it a bit more like this so in this way I have made a nice uh, cloth or a nice curtain on the top now what I am going to do I'm, I'm, I want to make this cloth to be more visible or more outward than both this flow so see this using drop shadow I can make something uh, making more more coming out outward and making something to going to backward so same I'm doing with this particular original copy now go to effect drop shadow and adding a bit of a like drop shadow something like this making it more dark more dark and more dark like this and click OK what I'm going to do this time just right click on it and click on the rasterize style the style is now the style is now going to merge into this layer again let's drag it control T and then flip horizontal make this on the opposite side like this so in this way you have a nice curtain flow with you now using this particular side curtains what I'm going to do I'm just merging this right click and we have an option called merge group so this will become a nice flow for me and after that go to image adjustment and using this exposure when you make it a bit dark okay so that so that it will give you a nice um, dark effect and this will give you a nice bright effect this time again in this, this layer window I have original still with me and using this original just make a copy of this original layer hide the complete original using this copy layer just drag it and make it a bit a little bit a very tiny flow so that it can it will give you a nice flow of a background now placing it some this side make one more copy by pressing alt and make one more copy of this now what you are going to do you have to just merge all the four copies by pressing ctrl e now after that just scale it using warp make it a bit curve if you required okay so I like this flow again using brush with the same color with soft brush with a bit of little opacity using multiply mode what I'm going to do I'm just making this last curtain or a background curtain B A C K D R O P backdrop curtain making a bit dark from the top side not I don't want to make it like over dark I just wanted to make it dark from the top side so that it will give me a nice round effect okay I think you like all these things this time now I'm going to make a make mm, nice I, I'm going to make a base for that so what I'm going to do again making a new layer or this time what I'm going to do I'm just making this layer on the top of this original layer so why I'm, I'm going to make this 
uh, the reason behind is that I just wanted to show you what I'm going to do so using this blue color a voltage blue color click here again by pressing alt backspace I'm filling the color now this time again this time we will take a low, like dark violet color go to filter render and again use fiber okay after that take one more new layer add a blue color this time alt backspace go to this filter filter gallery and use texture texture texturizer and in this texturizer you have an option of break click ok you have got a nice break and you have to blend both the options using overlay so that you can blend it or any other option which can give you a good effect you can use that also but I think overlay is something good for me so I'm using this overlay effect now I'm pressing ctrl E so that I, so that I can merge both the layers ctrl T drag it by pressing ctrl dragging it and making it a like making it something like a perspective flow for me that is the only reason I have put this layer on the top to just show you the perspective flow nothing else now by pressing ctrl minus scale it as much as you can stretch it stretch it as much as you can and press enter now this time when you drag it below this side curtain you will found a nice stage for you and after this what you can do is that make a rectangle something like this on the top of this base so you can see it stag stage and on the top of the stage make a new layer use the selection go to the gradient and make something colorful like this or I can say just use black and white color select this use this as a dark color use this as a bright color again use this as a dark color okay click here click here click here click on this make it a bit more bright click ok so if you have a nice gradient flow with you now make a new save it ok and just drag it from this part to this part ok make a new layer or on a similar layer this time click on this kind of a color ok and in this color use black and white click ok make a new layer and drag it something like this on the top that is black on the bottom that is white and blend it to give it a nice blend effect something something like this overlay or a multiply so now blend both the part go to warp click on this warp and make it a bit round enter now drag it and place it below this curtain so that it will give you a nice flow of a background this time what you can do you can use this stage click on this brush with the same setting of multiply opacity and hardness what you, you, you are going to do you can just lock this pixel darken from the opposite side or you can use it like a grayish black color make it a bit dark so that you can you have got a nice flow that's it once again take a new layer on the top and add a bit of like light color that is like orange light orange by pressing alt backspace you can you can fill this orange color into this background this time scale it scale it from both the side now use eraser with like a soft eraser and erase it from this side erase it from this side also with full opacity you can erase it you can erase it control T and just make it a like triangle by pressing control you can uh, give such kind of an effect and just enter now again increase the size of brush by using bracket key and just reduce the opacity and just fill this part 
see this it's a nice spotlight drag the spotlight below this curtain Control T rotate it as per your requirement you can just place it anywhere in your scene and using eraser you can make it a more soft something like this again make a copy rotate it and place it somewhere else on the opposite side and merge both the layers for the light now this time go to image adjustment and hue saturation and whatever color you want for your light you can change it if you want it in a blue format you can use a blue not an issue it's a blue go to screen make it a mid bit of more bright by using screen so in this way you can add something good okay this time now it's the time to now it's time to add some text effect so i'm going to just write max steel max press enter s t w -E l steel now this is increase the size of this max steel and this time use a color that is again a kind of a blue color because i like the blue so i'm taking blue as a color and using windows we have an option called styles in this style you can add a kind of any kind of style whatever you require for your scene you can add that if you don't found don't get such kind of styles in your database then what you have to do you have to just go to um, this drop down list and add as much as styles you required for your scene okay i think this could be okay for your scene press this pressing this and go to the stage image adjustment hue saturation and i think i have to add make it a bit little bit blue with a less saturation intensity something like this and with a dark parameter something like this now by using this same max steel just make a copy by using duplicate layer and this time right click and you have an option called rasterize type in this rasterize type and rasterize layer style you have got a nice layer press ctrl t make it a bit of a shadow enter drag it below to your max layer pressing it here something like this and use brush with lock pixel and add a dark color of this particular blue opacity full normal color and add a black color now add multiply make it a more back something like this go to filter distort or a blur and add a nice Gaussian blur for your scene but Gaussian blur won't work if you use lock pixel so unlock the pixel go to filter blur and use Gaussian blur reduce the size if you require and then click OK now if you want to add some flakes in our what you have to going to do is that make a new layer on the top this time go to brush you have lots of different brushes with you in this scene and if you want to make your own brush what you can do you can just take a new layer with with a dimension of like 300 by 300 and th just click ok this time just select any custom shape whatever you have with you select this custom shape go to this kind of a shape take a pixel kind of an or, or, or take path make a custom shape use the color black convert into a selection and all backspace you can just fill it press ctrl t rotate it as per your requirement i think i did something wrong so what i am going to do i'm just taking a new layer and by pressing alt backspace i have just filled it now this below layer i don't want this so i have added a black white color and by pressing ctrl backspace you can just fill this so you have to make something like this rotating it like this and go to edit there's an option called define brush preset so you can make a nice brush preset just close it now this time you don't want this now go to the brush with the same settings of like normal with opacity full and you have nice brush you have made for your scene this time you have to do some you have to just tweak some settings of this brush to make it in a form of nice flow so first of all go to shape dynamic so this will give a nice dynamic kind of a shape for your scene 
so you can just size jitter you can just add an angle jitter and go to brush tip shape you have to add some spacing in that so it works like this after that what we are going to do is that go to scatter and just scatter it now this time it works like this okay I think you like this flow finally go to color dynamics select any kind of a color whatever you require for your scene is called paint and just click on hue jitter without hue jitter it will look like a pink and with hue jitter it will give a nice sparkle effect for your scene so i think you like this thank you so much thanks a lot